I want to talk about something here that uh, kind of irritates me. Um, what I'm seeing now is this continued disparagement of President Trump on the media and, you know, in general. Let's understand something. We just went through eight years of a weak, do-nothing President Obama, okay? And we lost our footing in the world. So we elect President Trump, okay? What do we get? I mean, what did he bring us? Massive increase in jobs. Stock market going through the roof, okay? Now, that's, that's domestically, okay? And a lot of people don't like him because he says, well, he's going to affect food stamps and he's going to affect welfare. Good. Your boy, your boy Clinton, who you love so much, Okay, he's the one who put the welfare to work into place, and your man Obama passed it over. Not legally either; he didn't have a legal right to do that, but he did it. So, um, so what do they got against Trump? Okay, he's a billionaire. He likes the ladies. Okay, I get that. He had sex with a a porn star. Okay, all right. He wasn't a public official at the time. Now you look at your good man, Obama, uh, Clinton. He did all the stuff he was talked about. His sexual harassment, allegations of rape, all that, while he was a public official. Hmm. But that's okay, because he's your guy. So look on the international scale now. You got... They kind of come in after eight years of a weak-handed wussy of a president. Trump comes in. And these people are saying, well, he's not a politician. He's not an experienced politician. So you get all these international leaders puffing their chests out, testing his mettle. Well, you got Chin, Kim Jong-un in North Korea throwing missiles into the, into the ocean, saying that he's going to nuke Guam. Okay. Um, and all you liberals are like, oh, Donald Trump's going to start World War III and there's going to be a nuclear exchange. Guess what? Donald Trump ran three U.S. carriers, task forces, square up Kim Jong-un's ass. Okay? And Kim Jong-un is like, but this guy could hit me at any time. Well, that's kind of sitting over there. You stop kind of seeing it. He stopped throwing missiles, largely because we went to China, and we said, hey, look, China, we're not going to tolerate your dog on your chain in our yard anymore. Okay? And we made some deals with them where they're buying their coal from us, so they shut North Korea off, put a real pinch on it. That didn't really quite solve it. Well, over in Syria... Initially, right after right after uh, Trump became president, they did a gas attack, and he lobbed a few missiles into Syria, and didn't really quite get the message. Well, Syria turns around and they gas their people again, and what happens? A massive missile strike that completely destroys everything in their chemical industry, military sites. It was a massive strike, simultaneous strike from multiple countries that, I mean, they all landed in like three minute time span, okay? Well, Russia, before, you know, we they knew it was coming. Russia's like, well, we're going to sink any U.S. ships that fire any missiles. What Russia did before the missile strike is they took their ships out of Syrian ports. Did, did they go after the American ships? No, they just kind of stepped back. So, turn around, and Kim Jong-un says, Trump ain't playing. He's not playing this game. The next thing you know, Kim Jong-un is stepping across the border of South Korea, shaking the hands with the, with the South Korean president, and they're talking about peace treaty, they're talking about the end of the... Of the of the uh, Korean War, which we've been sitting on a line for 65 some odd years, um, and even some some 
hints of reunification in the Korean Peninsula. Meanwhile, have you heard anything of Putin pressing into the Crimea? No, you haven't. He's just kind of like, Trump is a wild card. I don't know what he's going to do. I'm not going to play. I knew what Obama was going to be a weak-handed that I could manipulate, scare to death. He probably peed his pants when Putin spoke. Okay? Trump ain't like that. Trump's a street fighter. Okay? Yeah, he was a playboy. He was a billionaire playboy. He did some things with the ladies. Maybe he was a little misogynistic. Okay, I get that. Okay? Maybe he has some things he did that we want to to impugn his morality for. Of course, we're not going to say that about Clinton. Because he was our guy. But you're a bunch of damn hypocrites is what you are, okay? You're listening to this news who will not talk about any of these things. You notice you're over here. All of a sudden, you don't care about North Korea. You get a little bit of them crossing the thing, but you don't really hear about it anymore. All of a sudden, yeah, it's taken care of. We can't talk about it. We can't give President Trump any crack, crack, credit for being tough. Okay, that would be, we can't give him any credit for, hey, the, the economy is because of Obama. Are you out of your freaking mind? <coughs> I'm getting tired of it, okay? Now they're talking about in this, this year, this election cycle coming up and taking the House and the Senate. So we can stop Trump. Why would you want to stop it? Why would you want to turn our economy back the way it was? Why do you want why do you want to bring us to a position where we have to take weak handed action in, in our international affairs? Okay? We are the predominant country in the world, and I am not ashamed to say that. I don't care what Mr. Obama says. We are the predominant country in the world. We are the one biggest standing superpower. Yeah, we lost a lot of that footing in the last eight years. We most certainly have. Okay? And it's time to build it back up. But, you know, your people are hypocritical fools. And you want to listen to this media. Okay. I mean, he had sex with a porn star. Who cares? I don't care. Okay. I don't care what he does in the office. It affects me. What he, what he did with his wiener before he became president. I don't care. Okay. So, there's my thoughts on it. Holler at me, cuss at me, do whatever you want. I don't care because you're wrong. All right, bye.